This video is about defense in Rocket League Sideswipe. In this video, I'll share my top tips guaranteed to take your defense game to the next level and stop you getting scored on due to easily avoidable mistakes. By the end of this video, you will be a defensive god. This is something I see all too often in doubles. One player is attacking the ball, and the other player is just sitting in goal having a little picnic on his own. He's got a basket with sandwiches, some fruit, and he's just having a lovely day. Alright, sorry, sorry. Okay, so one player is upfield, and the other is in goal. Which means this guy is playing a 2v1 match, and then when he inevitably runs out of boost and loses, now this guy's playing a 2v1 match, which he'll probably lose too. It's just a terrible strategy. Instead, this player should be on the field, putting pressure on the opposition, and being ready to challenge whenever possible. If the opposition does get it past his teammate, he can follow the play back towards goal and clear. This technique is called shadow defending, and it's called this because you're shadowing the player with the ball matching their speed and following them back to your goal. It's a really important skill to add to your game, and it'll help you improve as a player so much more than just sitting in goal having a picnic. However, there are some situations where you'll find yourself sitting in goal. Like in 1v1s when your opponent is underneath the goal. So I've got two great tips for this. The first is, don't sit too far back in the goal. Instead, put the nose of your car off the edge of the goal like this, so you can block the ball if it rolls up, and avoid situations like this. And the second tip is, if you do need to come out of your goal and get the ball in a situation like this, don't make this mistake. This often happens because you aim at where the ball is now, and then jump at it. However, by the time you get there, the ball's already moved and goes straight under your car. Instead, come out of your goal and go straight down, blocking the ball from rolling up the wall. So just remember, out and down. Here's a common situation. You've just gotten beaten and you start chasing the ball back towards your own goal. You're here, but you need to get here. So what do you do? Well, in both duels and doubles, I see players doing this. Driving straight through the ball and hitting it towards their own goal. And this is fine if the opponent is far away, and you can safely take possession. But instead, in duels, this often happens. And in doubles, this often happens. So instead of that, I've got a much safer option for you. Similar to in Rocket League, where you should rotate back to goal away from the play, instead of with the play. In Sideswipe, you should go over the ball, instead of through the ball. This works in duels, where you can quickly get back to goal to block any shots. And it works in doubles, where you can avoid blocking your teammates' clears, and take up a defensive position while they counterattack. When you're back in defense and you need to get the ball out of your half, you need to know how to safely clear it. So let's talk about that. My first tip is to use gold shots when you want to hit the ball upfield. Gold shots are much safer than red shots because they allow you to stay in a defensive position, whereas red shots often put you upfield. This is super useful in both doubles and duels. You can get a long pass up to your teammate in doubles, or in duels when you're on the back wall and you need to clear it. The main point is, gold shots are your defensive friend. And my last tip about clears is fake. Fake on the ground by just wiggling your car left and right like this. And fake in the air by simply positioning your car near the ball and doing nothing at all. 
Faking is often one of the best ways to give yourself more space to decide how to clear the ball, and avoid situations where your opponent easily reads your clear. It's just a great technique to add to your game, not just in offense, but in defense as well. And that's it. Those are all the defensive tips I've got for you guys today. I'm pretty confident that if you start using all of these techniques in your duels and doubles games, you'll start seeing improvements to your rank really soon. And just finally, if you want to come hang out with me and other MOGS viewers, come join the MOGS Discord server. The link's on screen and in the video description. And if you want to gain access to special parks like gameplay with me, replay analysis by me, or access to members only videos, come join my membership program. Again, the details are on screen and in the video description. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League and Rocket League Sideswipe content. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.